news update and then State of the Union with Candy Crowley. Good morning, I'm Erin McPike and here are the big stories we're following this hour. The army of firefighters battling ferocious fires in Southern California are seeing their hard work pay off. They've contained three of seven fires burning in San Diego County and they hope to finish off some of the remaining fires today. Calmer winds and cooler temperatures are helping, and many of the people who had to evacuate are heading back home today. The New York Times is now dealing with the fallout from a high-profile firing. The publisher of the Times is disputing claims that sexism fueled the dismissal of his executive editor. Arthur Sulzberger Jr. wrote a note to staff outlining his decision to fire Jill Abramson. And in it, he cited inadequate communication and the public mistreatment of colleagues. Abramson is set to deliver the commencement speech tomorrow at Wake Forest University in North Carolina. The 911 Memorial Museum opens to the public on Wednesday. For now, only first responders and victims' family members are allowed inside. It took eight emotionally charged years to build the museum as a tribute to those who died when terrorists blew hijacked planes into the Twin Towers, the Pentagon, and a field in Pennsylvania. I'm Erin McPike. State of the Union with Candy Crowley starts right now. California simmers after.